Well, whoever came up the saying, real men don't eat quiche, not true at all. My husband Bob loves quiche. Quiche is delicious, and this is a fun um, new, different quiche recipe I came up with. It's a bacon and zucchini quiche. So we're going to start with about a quarter of a pound of bacon, and I've just diced it up a little bit. I like using or coming up with different new recipes for zucchini in the summer because at a certain point, it's already at the farmer's market, and toward the end of summer, it's like you got zucchini coming out of your ears. People are dropping off zucchini on my front porch. They're bringing it into work, uh, trying to get rid of zucchini. So, you know, I always try and come up with different ways to use it. I think zucchini can kind of get a bad rap, um, and I, I love it. I happen to absolutely love it, and I love putting it in different things. Um, you know, you can do a lot more with it than just boiling it or throwing it or into zucchini bread. Um, you can use it in lots of different recipes, so why not throw it in quiche? Quiche is... Uh, we're, today's show is about breakfast, but quiche isn't just a breakfast thing. And actually, quiche is great for lunch or even a nice light dinner. So let's talk about the zucchini a little bit. Um, it it's really can be a little bit sandy, uh, and especially if you're getting it you know, from somebody's garden or at the farmer's market. So it's really important to wash it very, very well. At home, I'll use a scrub brush a lot of the time. You don't want to get any sand into that quiche. So wash it well and then really dry it well. Super important. And then we'll get back to dicing that up in just a minute. Let's talk about the crust for the quiche. We're going to take a shortcut here, keep it really easy breezy, and we, we're going to use one of those pre-made pie crusts, which are like the best invention ever. And I want to pre-bake it just a little, little bit. Um, sometimes what happens when you have quiche is the crust gets kind of soggy and this can help with that. So we're just going to pre-bake it for a few minutes. See, these are so wonderful to work with. Now, by all means, if you have a great pie crust recipe that you happen to love and you're a pie crust maker, make your own from scratch. But again, I would pre-bake even a homemade pie crust for just about five minutes. You just want to get it started. And that way it's going to hold the egg batter really nicely. Now Anne's going to give me a dirty look because her crimps and her crusts are going to be sure way prettier than mine. But I like the rustic look, Anne. Yeah. I'm all about rustic. So I've gotten a lot of emails and Facebook comments. How's Arlo doing? Arlo is my new dog. He's a black lab. He's about a year and a half, and he is doing so great. I got to bring in some pictures soon. We weren't sure when we got him if he knew how to swim. Well, let me tell you, he swims. He swims great. He loves to swim. So, I've been taking him to the beach, doing with lots of swimming. With a fork, with a fork. Oh yeah, thank you, Ann. Good tip. I'm just going to use a fork to kind of poke the bottom of the crust, and that way it won't bubble up on me. Some people put beans down over on a pie crust, you know, just dried beans. Now we're going to get it in here about five minutes. Actually crank up the heat just a little bit. And don't let me overcook it. So anyway, you can follow my summer and what's going on with Arlo and uh, my daughter Ireland uh, and all that kind of good stuff on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of good stuff. I'm taking lots of pictures of the dog because he's so cute and he's the only one to let me take pictures. The kids aren't, aren't a big fan these days of me taking pictures of them. Okay, so our bacon is starting to cook up a little bit. Let's talk about the quiche batter. I think we've all had quiche that is a little bit dried out. Not so good. One of the keys to that is the ratio of eggs to, I like to use heavy cream, or if you wanted to cut back, you could do half and half or even milk. Quiche is supposed to be more custard-like. So if you've had a really good quiche, it's a great custardy mouthfeel. Um, it's not like dried up scrambled eggs. It should not be like that. So we're only using, and this quiche is going to serve a good six people or more, but we're only using three eggs. So really we're using quite a bit more liquid than the egg. So 
So we're using three eggs and a cup and a quarter of heavy cream. Of course, we love our Lamer's heavy cream. Great local dairy in the Appleton area. The, you can actually go out there in the summer, take the kids, and it's a lot of fun. They've got a window, and you can actually watch them during the week, how they, you know, uh, bring in the milk. And Anne's in love with their chocolate milk and their pink or raspberry lemonade and their regular lemonade. So a cup and a quarter of Lamer's milk. And you can get an ice cream cone out there, too, for the kids or yourself. Okay. Bacon looks great. Doesn't need to be super crisp. I'm just going to get it out of the pan, and we'll start with our zucchini. And we've got some great drippings from the bacon. We're going to actually... And there's not too many. There's about a tablespoon or two, which is perfect. If you get a ton of drippings, oops, then you'll want to um, drain a little bit of that grease. But this is going to be what we're going to cook our zucchini in. It's going to give the zucchini some nice flavor. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to do our zucchini. And I'm, I'm going to do it in half moons. Normally when I'm in, the, the recipe calls for two smaller to medium zucchini. But this happens to be a big guy, so we're just going to do one. Slicing it up a little bit. My husband Bob, when we met, I remember... Um, wanting to cook him a very special like a date night dinner and I was kind of saying well you know what do you like what do you don't like and he's like I don't do zucchini at all no no zucchini and I'm like what do you mean that could be a deal breaker here because I love zucchini well he was you know when he thought zucchini he thought like he grew up with boil it in water until it's mush 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 now I promise you, it is one of his all-time favorite vegetables. Um, he loves it if it's just, you know, sautéed, or sometimes I'll throw it on the grill, or I put it in different recipes. You just don't want to cook the heck out of it. So it's really going to have some nice flavor with the baking drippings. A little bit of salt and pepper. And we're about ready to start putting this quiche together. So back to our custard mixture. Three eggs and a cup and a quarter of heavy cream. So that really is the key to yummy quiche. If you see a quiche recipe that has like six or eight eggs, trust me on this one. Uh, it, it's, yeah, it's not going to be good unless you're making a ginormous quiche, but I don't know if a pie pan that big. So really, you want to look for three, three eggs and quite a bit of heavy cream or half and half. Milk, you're just not going to, it, it's still going to taste good, but you're not going to get that real velvety custard texture like you would when you're using heavy cream. Okay, zucchini is getting some color. That is a good thing. I want it to have some color on it. That is going to be flavor. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I don't want to overcook it, though, because then it turns into mush, and that's when it's not so good. Okay, let's get our... Yeah, I'm wishing this would have cooked a little bit more, baked a little bit more, because then it would stand right up a little bit. It's still going to work for our purposes. I'll just use my fingers and, and work with this. And then when it bakes again in the oven, it should be fine. But I'd like to see it a little bit browner around the edges. OK, so down goes our, we're using a Gruyere or shredded Swiss cheese. That's traditionally the type of cheese that you use in quiche. You could use any type of quiche. You could use cheddar. You could, you want some kick to it. You could do pepper jack, Monterey jack. But the, the real deal, the real French quiche has Swiss or Gruyere. And then in goes our zucchini. 
Now I'm using bacon because I love bacon. Um, you could completely do this vegetarian with zucchini and, and, and spinach and maybe red pepper and onions would be great in here. You could do it with ham, sausage, it's all going to work. And then our egg batter goes right over the top. And into the oven this goes. I'm going to put it back in the oven. And uh, you really want to wait till the, the custard is just set, but you don't want to over bake it. Um, just like anything, it'll continue to set up a little bit when it comes out, but it, it easily takes a good 30 to 50 minutes. So back in it goes. And uh, here is the finished product. I like to let it rest a good 20 minutes to a half hour before you slice it. Quiche doesn't need to be hot, 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 hot. Um, if you cut it when it's that hot right out of the oven, it's just going to fall apart on you. It's not going to give you a nice, even um, slices. If you, the, the edges are getting a little bit browned, um, and these got just a teeny bit more brown than I would like, cover the, the edges of the pie with a little bit of foil like during the baking process. So just check on it. Peek on the, the quiche a couple of times during the baking process. Coming up, some fun, new, delicious breakfast recipes. We, if you like oatmeal, we're going to make a new twist on oat, oatmeal. Um, it's going to be really delicious. Apples and quinoa, really healthy. Um, and some more fun breakfast ideas, too, like coffee cake. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back.